The key to being able to successfully treat finger infections as well as perform other minor finger procedures in the office is to obtain complete digital anesthesia, which will be demonstrated here. Here, the dorsal surface of the finger is being prepped with alcohol, and the dorsal sensory nerves are first blocked, and these are outlined here. These are actually branches of the superficial radial nerve in the index finger, and the oval marks the spot where we will raise a bubble of anesthesia. This is done by using, in this case, a 25 gauge by 1 inch needle to quickly and decisively enter the skin to minimize patient discomfort. The solution used is 3 cc's here of 1% lidocaine without epinephrine. Other additives may be safely used such as bicarbonate or even epinephrine, which has been uh, shown to be safe to use in the more recent literature. After the bubble of anesthesia is complete, after about five minutes, the dorsum of the patient's finger will be numb out to about the level of the middle of the middle phalanx. To complete the anesthetic on the volar side of the finger as well as the finger tip, a separate injection is given on the volar side of the finger. The nerves are again outlined here, branching from the median nerve. The goal again is to raise a bubble of anesthesia at the base of the finger where these nerves are in close proximity. This can be done with a single injection right in the midline of the finger as shown here. Once again, a quick decisive stroke with a short sharp 25 gauge needle is used to inject the exact same volume and type of anesthetic as on the dorsal surface of the finger, and this should complete the procedure. After another five minutes, the patient's finger should be completely numb.